hi guys and welcome back to our vlog it's been a while i didn't vlog last week quite a few things happened that prevented me to pick up the camera and vlog um the little one was not feeling his best he had some like he was teething and then he had some runny nose so i needed just to take care of him so i hope you guys understand now he's back he's feeling much better um so i decided to vlog today today is just gonna be like a, a day in our life just hang out with us we the gentleman here hi guys was sweet enough he's such a sweetheart he always makes sure that before we get into the car he warms it up so he just did that so we're about to get ready we're going Thank outside you. we need to pick up some groceries and we need to also stop at the post office to um get some mails and some things that we shopped online so guys i actually have a question with you guys i got him a new jacket do you want to say hi do you want to say hi i got him a new jacket uh-oh uh-oh so i got him this new jacket and i was wondering what do you guys think his dad thinks it's like perfect i think it's a little bit girly it's like um lavender and it's reversible um it has a green side so he can wear it outside on this side i'll show you later guys so i'm just thinking i'll show you guys the details once we we get back but yeah so we're going outside so we'll take you along so when we got to the grocery, I decided to go just by myself and the little one and his dad went for a drive around the neighborhood. Um, we used to really, really enjoy going to the grocery, um, just the three of us and picking up our favorite food. But because of everything happening and the cases increasing drastically in Ontario, I just want to be in and out and just get back home. Um, so thankfully, we didn't need much. So I just picked up quickly whatever we needed and we just headed home. I'll do a grocery home as soon as I get home. So I'll show you everything that I got. And now we just got back home and the little one was looking forward for his favorite snack. He loves, loves, loves a Greek yogurt. So I just gave him his uh, treat of the day, which is the Greek yogurt. He really looks forward to the Greek yogurt. We always make fun of him because it's just like you can see his eyes lighting up whenever he sees that blue package. <laughs> Papa Sir is always sweet enough to make sure that he fills up uh, the bottle of water. We don't like super cold water, so he makes sure he fills up the water bottle. No water, no life. We just got back from the grocery. I didn't need much, but we just had things that we were running out of. So we decided just to quickly pick those up. So I'm just gonna give you quickly a grocery haul. So we have some French vanilla. This is my favorite. This is what I use um, in my coffee every morning. Um, I also got this uh, cold brew stock. I have never tried this, but the grocery that I go to doesn't have the Starbucks one because I like the Starbucks cold, crew, uh, cold brew. So I just decided to pick this one up. So I'll let you know how it tastes. I'll try this tomorrow. Um, I picked up some lamb. We love lamb. My husband and I love lamb. The little one, I don't think he has ever had lamb. And he's here. <laughs> so I'm probably going to make this for dinner because I haven't had this. I haven't had lamb in a while. Um, I picked up some um, creamy honey. We don't use sugar in our tea. We only use honey. So I picked up this one. They didn't have the brand that I like. This is the brand that they had. And they only had um, a small size. So I just picked this up. I picked up some french fries um, that probably will go with our lamb, some eggs, we'll always have to have eggs um, here, and then strawberry, this is the little one's favorite, which is here, <laughs> um, this is his favorite, so we always have to have strawberry, um, so I picked this up, some bananas, um, some lime, we need, all, we need this one, especially during winter for our tea. Um, some fresh ginger, some oranges. We love oranges. The little one loves oranges. Very good vitamin C. So I picked those up. And also some bread. So that's pretty much all we got for the grocery. I'm about to start on dinner. And someone is already having an appetizer, a soup. Yeah, he's having. So I made a big um, batch of soup. So he's having soup. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. So, so yummy. Good. Yeah, it tastes, it smells really good. Um, so he's having a little appetizer before dinner. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I'm about to start on dinner. I'm going to put this away and start on dinner. 
So before I put my produce, and especially my fruits away, I always make sure that I wash them properly. And especially because I have the little one, when he comes for that snack and he wants that fruit, he wants it right away. I'm not so sure if all the kids are like that, but my little one, when he wants like a snack, he doesn't have time to wait for me to wash it. He, you know, he wants it right away. So it makes it so, so easy to clean it and make sure that it's clean and washed and put away. So that way, when he asks for that snack, you're confident that it's, you don't have to rush or, you know, have one screaming in the background because he wants that, that fruit. So really think this is so helpful to clean it as soon as you get it from the grocery. This is my favorite thing to do when it comes down to putting the groceries away. I find it so therapeutic to put the eggs in the container. I can do this every day, all day. <laughs> and yes, we do love eggs, so we always have to have eggs on hand. Now back to cleaning my produce. I'm washing my oranges. I had to do the strawberries right away as soon as I got home because he also wanted some strawberries after having his yogurt but yeah this is so helpful to do because even for me and Leo when we want that fruit uh, we can grab it right away without having to worry that it was not washed properly because sometimes you're in a rush and it's easy to forget and think oh and start like having a bite so washing your produce as soon as you get home properly is so helpful and especially with everything happening with the viruses you know you just have to be careful um, do whatever you can and leave the rest up to God This is the jacket that I was referring to, um, he was wearing earlier. So I got this about a couple of days ago in the mail. And I know when I ordered it, it did say that it was a lavender and gray because you can wear it this way or you can wear it um, this way. But then when it arrived, I felt like the lavender is too bright and it's a little bit girly but his dad told me that this is a perfect lavender he has seen he will definitely buy a jacket like this if there was one available in his size so um i like it it's really soft and nice and it's super warm and as i said you can wear it this way it has on both sides the logo of the north face um here as well so i'm not so sure what do you guys think let me know in the comment do you think this is a too girly oh this is just perfect i really love it it looks so cute on him guys really really cute and it feels soft and funny thing i love this side because it's so soft but we'll see so yeah yeah what do you think you think this is uh I this love, is not too girly i love this color so much don't you think it's too girly no it's not are you serious no it's lavender is I think it's too bright. I wish it was a little bit of a darker lavender. Yes, and actually, like that, you can flip it. Yeah, you can flip ways. it. Yeah, you can uh, definitely the front flip it. It's very fancy. I like this. Yeah, the fur is really nice. I like the fur is just so nice. And I like the color too. It's unique. You, so, you don't think this is too girly? No. Mm, okay. I've, seen, I've seen a lot of. Would you wear a jacket wear like this? this? Yeah, if I had one. Okay, I'll, I'll have to get you something looking like this should, so you yeah. guys can be twins. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just woke up from a nap? Still sleepy. Are you sleepy? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're definitely sleepy. <laughs> okay, someone just woke up from a nap. You wanna say hi? Say hi. You wanna say hi? Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, someone is still sleepy. Anyway guys, I'm about to start on dinner. So we're having lamb today, so this is my lamb. We love lamb chops. So that's what I'm going to make. I'm also going to make um, salad um, with some, yeah, I'll show you later. But yeah, I'm about to start on dinner right now. So lamb doesn't usually really need any seasoning like because it just has a very rich um, flavor. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sea salt, um, a little bit of black pepper, just gonna turn this around and I'm just gonna repeat like really and truly lamb has a very very rich um, flavor it's either you like it or not but um, it does not require like a lot of seasoning just a tiny bit of salt 
little bit of pepper and you are good to go so that's pretty much all my seasoning for my lamb so in a pan i just added some butter and i'm just gonna let it um get hot and nice and i'm just gonna put my lamb in a bit okay now that my butter is hot and nice i'm just gonna add my lamb to it So I want my side to be brown, so I have my oil or my butter really hot and nice because I want to brown it, and I don't want my my lamb to be overcooked as well. So I'm just gonna make it make sure that it's brown on both sides and it's nice and juicy on the inside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this. This should be nice and brown. So as you can tell, it's nice and brown. I had to mute it because the vent, I put on the vent and the vent was making lots of noise. So yeah, so my lamp is nicely browned. Um, the thing with lamp, if you are a fan of lamp, it's nice when it's like medium um, done, not too done because it becomes super, super hard if it's uh, well well done so that's what I did and now I checked out on my fries I use my air fryer to make fries and I'm serious I have never had better fries than this like the air fryer does an amazing job and just to think that you don't need any single oil inside just makes my heart so happy <laughs> And next onto my salad, I'm just having like a quick simple salad. I'm using aragula as my salad base. Um, I'm cutting some cherry tomato. I'm not a big fan, but my husband loves tomato. I'm not a fan of tomato. I'm adding um, strawberries because I love strawberries and the little one as well. So we're going to have the strawberries and I'm gonna pick out the cherry tomato. I'm also adding um, some feta cheese and now I'm cutting half of an avocado. I love avocado in my salad and that's pretty much it. We don't even put any um, seasoning, we just put a little bit of lemon juice. Sometimes um, I also add a little bit of olive oil and that's pretty much all we use for our dressing because it tastes amazing just like that. Fries are all done, really looking good, all golden. And I can tell you they are just crunchy, really nicely crunchy. Mmm, perfect. And that took about what, 10 minutes? So dinner is ready, this looks super yummy. I cannot wait to dig in. So we're about to have dinner and daddy is getting someone ready. Mm -hmm. He's not having the same thing as us. He's just having his, um, just uh, something else that I made because he's not gonna eat no lamb and no French fries. <laughs> I may give him one or two fries because he loves fries. So this gentleman here is helping us clean up. I cook and he helps a little bit. Well, not not that you're helping a lot, right? You're putting everything in no, the I'm dish. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just putting it in the dishwasher. <laughs> Yeah, he's I'm putting not cleaning all dishes. So. No, but you're helping. You're helping a little bit, which is nice. So that's what we usually do. Like I cook and then he puts away the dishes in the dishwasher. Um and yeah, are we gonna have tea? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we love Ginger it. tea, man. Yeah, the one that I made last night. Yeah. It's yeah. So, good. so we usually have we yeah. enjoy um having a cup of tea together once we put the baby um to bed. So that's what we're gonna do. Didn't eat much. Yeah, he's <laughs> and grandma are you showing grandma grandma gave him an iPod, but it looks sweet. Oh are we gonna clean up this? There we go. So his his grandma came to visit him and she bought him um an iPod, but it looks pink. Does grandma know that it's pink? I don't think she knew it's pink. Did she know? You love your iPad? Do you want to call your grandma? Do you want to FaceTime your grandma on your iPad? No? Maybe? Some other time? Are you busy? Are you busy? Okay, bye-bye. 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 
He just learned how to say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> Are you driving your iPad? Are you driving your iPad? So after dinner, Leo and I have a shot of our Ningxia Red from Young Living. I'm not really good with vitamins and I love the taste of this. So even whenever I skip my vitamins, I'm happy to know that I can have this and it has a lot of good um, nutrition, helps with metabolism. So yeah, so this is what we have. We have some um, in the morning, so a shot in the morning and a shot after dinner, every night. And now it's our bittersweet time of the day. I say bittersweet because he's about to go to bed and I'm going to miss him so much. But at the same time, I love this time of the day because we have those extra cuddles, lots of kisses. We read a book sometimes or we watch one of his favorite cartoons. Right now, his favorite cartoon is Madagascar. I cannot count how many times we have watched Madagascar, like a hundred times, all, all the Madagascar. One, two, three, name it. Um, yeah, so this is the time where we do a lot of cuddles. We try to get him to play with us a lot so he can get tired, so that way he can have a really good night's sleep. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what we do pretty much every night and it works for us. I love this time of the day when my husband is off work and you know, we're spending some quality time um, with the three of us. Now that the baby was off to bed, I went ahead and made some tea. That's our favorite thing to do. We always, always share a cup of tea before we go to bed and watch some TV, it's usually the news and you know catching up on what's happening and yeah this is another favorite time of mine it, this is not bittersweet because we get to spend more time as well later on in the bed but yeah I love this time because we get to catch up on things and uh, yeah and share a cup of tea guys so i'm gonna end the vlog right here i really hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you are new to our channel welcome to our channel don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos from us and also leave us a comment take care and we'll see you on the next vlog bye now bye